mirror and scale. Let's take a look at the mi mirror and scale commands inside the modify panel. We're going to use this design here. You can find this design by opening a new design, browsing to your chapter 5 in your project files, and opening shapes. I'll go ahead and cancel this since I already have it open here. Now the first one we can look at is mirror. Let's go ahead and try that. I'll pan down just a little bit. And after activating the mirror command, you see AutoCAD is asking us to select the objects. I'm going to go ahead and select this object here. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Now what we need to do is specify the first point of the mirror line. I'm going to use this line here. And now as I rotate, you see the object is being rotated across that mirror line. So if I have it vertical here, it reflects directly across. And as I move it closer and closer, it still moves around according to my line. I'll go ahead and snap it somewhere along this line here. So it reflects directly across. And once I click there, you see the object disappears. Well, that's because AutoCAD is now asking us, do we need to erase this object or not? If we hit yes, the object would be moved to the other side of the line. If you hit no, the object will be copied to the other side of the line. Let's go ahead and copy it and select no. And there you go. We made another copy of the object we had here across that mirror line. Let's try mirror one more time. Activate mirror. I'll go ahead and zoom out and pan to put everything into view. And now I'll go ahead and select some objects. I'll pick this one, this one, and maybe this one here. And now what I want to do is mirror it across this green line here. Once I'm done selecting objects, I can go ahead and press enter. And now I need to specify the first point of my mirror line. I'll select this end point of the green line. And as you can see, I'm already reflecting my images across the mirror line. I can pick this end point here. Do I want to erase the old objects? Yes or no? I'll keep the old objects, and there you go. I moved my objects across the line. Now let's take a look at scale. That can be found here. Once I select that, I need to select the objects that I want to scale. I'll go ahead and zoom into this section here, pan over to the side, and I'll select this circle here. Once I'm done, I'll press Enter, and now I need to specify a base point. Let's go ahead and use the center. Once I do so, I can see I'm scaling my object, smaller or larger. A value of 1 would be the original object, anything smaller than 1 shrinks the object, and anything larger than 1 increases the object. I'll go ahead and just use the rubber band line to kind of estimate where I want to put it. Right there looks good to me. I'll go ahead and press enter. And there you go, I've scaled my object. Let's go ahead and do this one more time. I'll activate the scale command. I'll select this line. I'll press enter to accept my selection. And now I need to specify a base point. Let's go ahead and select that as my base point. And now I need to specify a distance. So there we go. I'm already stretching my line out. So let's pick a distance of 2, or a scale factor of 2 actually, and then press enter. And now I've doubled my line. Let's pan across a bit. And let's look at these two objects right here. And let's scale this one on the left to be the same size as the one on the right, or at least in terms of length. I'll go ahead and scale my object. Select the object that needs to be scaled. Once I'm done with my selection, I'll press Enter. I need to specify a base point right here. And now I don't know exactly where I need to scale it to. I can visually judge it and go ahead and specify this point here. But let's try and use reference. I'll use reference. And now I need to specify the reference length. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Pan this object over. I'll pick this point here. And this point here. Now all I need to do is stretch out my object and I can scale it to exactly where I need it to be. Which would be right there. I can go ahead and zoom out. And there's my objects. Let's just try and mirror a couple more objects one last time. I'll go ahead and activate the mirror command. I'll pick an object here, here, and this one right here. Once I'm done picking objects, you can press enter, select the mirror line from here to here. I'll go ahead and zoom out, pan over just a little bit. I'll go ahead and keep my old objects. So do I want to erase the source ones? 
I'll keep no, and there we go. I've created my new objects.